praise the Lord. This is the Lord that your reward is in the meekness, in your submission, in your simplicity, in your silence. As I was recording this video on the top of the mountain, there was a lot of breeze which was a heavy disturbance in the audio. So I thought of recording the audio separately. However, the words of my mouth, the words, the audio is not matching what you see in the video. But the word of God is the same and it is powerful as always because the people of God, they must know what is submission. The reward is in the submission. The reward is in the meekness. When your attitude is to remain humble, simple, silent, and those who have the listening skills, those who submit to the will of the Lord, they don't make a show off. They don't portray themselves. They do not have dominion. They give dominion to the Spirit of God. Most of the times it happens that when I am prophesying or when I do the counseling, people, they interrupt me. They are possessive, over talkative, and they do not understand counseling. Counseling is always the flow from the prophetess to you. The spirit is always from me to you. So you must be the one who is receiving. I have seen many people who turn to teach me. They think that they will correct me. They don't know that I hear it from the Lord because they don't know who are the prophets. The prophets, they don't say a single word unless and until they have heard from the Lord. The Lord will speak into my ears. First, he will speak into my ears and then I will open my mouth and I will speak. But those who are not meek, they are not submitted. They will boast about themselves. They think that they can teach the prophets. They are not willing to receive. Their intention is only to use the prophets for the prophecy. They have no love relationship with the anointing. And that's why they are known as the arrogant ones. The arrogant people, how can they have connection with our beloved one and only one Lord, our beloved Lord God Jesus Christ? Those who are arrogant, they are full of pride and definitely they have the relationship and connection with the evil altars. So... Tonight, if you are willing to be submissive, if you are willing to be meek, I break every bondage so that you shall be disconnected from the evil altars and you will come in the submission. The important part of submission is that you understand the will of the Lord and the will of the Lord is always in tithing. I live for tithing. I serve the Lord for tithing. My service to the Lord is tithing. Not only this, but the tithing which I do is 100%. So I am left with absolutely nothing. The tithing is the last amount that I have and the only amount that I have. But even then I lack nothing at all. The Lord God blesses me more than my expectation and that's the miracle. When you give your 100%, you are known as 100% meek. When you are 100% meek, you will know how to serve the Lord in submission. Means you are doing only the Lord's will. However, those who are not meek, you must know this, that if you are not meek or those people who are not meek, they do not want to hear from the Lord. They have their own ideas, their own will and their own strategies. They come to the church for their own will. Either they want to get married or they have some evil intentions. For them, the church is a matrimonial. It's a place where they get married. But church is a place where you see God. Remember what I have said and change yourself tonight so that you shall be blessed for your submission. And you need repentance. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus.